Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video for today. I want to get into the city skylines plazas and promenades first look. This is from the city skylines YouTube channel. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to give you the top 12 moments of that live stream. So first and foremost, this live stream was August 30th and it was an hour and 27 minutes. So if you don't have an hour and 27 minutes, I will condense this down for about a nine to 10 minute video. Let's get started. So we are at the 1252 mark of the live stream. And I want you to notice one thing. So I know this is not plaza or promenades related, but look at the train station. Now, my theory is that since we are doing plazas and promenades and pedestrian paths are a very big focal point of this DLC, I think we're gonna have a lot more people like Sims walking around. That is just my very first thing that I noticed when I was watching this live stream. I wonder if I'm right, I'm not really sure, but so just... now we're really digging deep into this live stream. The very next thing that I wanted to go over was the service station. So during the live stream, these are all the service stations you need. So the pedestrian paths that we already know about, they need servicing. And what I mean by that is that they need their trash picked up, they need their cargo. So if you have any commercial buildings, the cargo needs to get to your commercial buildings. So I'm going to hit pause right there. I'm going to hit that space bar. You can see right now we have different size pedestrian service points. And so these service stations, like I said, they will serve as your cargo and you can see it right there. Cargo and garbage for buildings on pedestrian paths. So this way your garbage trucks, they cannot go on those roads. So again, pedestrian paths, you're using the service points. So that is one of the first things I also learned from this live stream. Let's keep going. So now we're at around the 2246 mark. What you're going to see is that we need to create a district. So if you've ever bought a DLC from Paradox Interactive and played City Skylines, you need to build a district or well, not build, but let's call it paint a district, which, you know, you have to build. So this is interesting though. You have to build the district based on the service point that I just went over. So for the second thing I noticed is that the service buildings are 100% necessary. Otherwise you cannot build a pedestrian area or use the pedestrian paths. So districting the pedestrian areas, that is the second point I got out of this live stream. Just like any other DLC, you're gonna get a guide for how you actually have a successful pedestrian area. And you can see the happiness of it, the entertainment of it, how many square feet. now. This is not a park and it is not an airport, so you cannot charge them a fee. Obviously, you guys can see there is no ticketing fee. But if we stop it, if we stop it right here in the middle, we can see that there is a land value bonus. So basically, I believe if you get that to be a five star it is almost like a multiplier. So this is this is my opinion. If you have a tourist area or a stadium area and you get that land value really high, you're going to create a multiplier and it is going to grow like crazy and give you a ton of money in revenue. That is just my opinion. Again, I do not have the DLC, but that's why we're here. We are here just to see what this first look looks like and just create opinions from that. Let's keep go. going. So just like every other DLC, we have new policies for a pedestrian area. We have slow driving, sugar ban, street music, and deliver everything. Now, Wow, the sugar ban increases the average lifespan of a citizen in a pedestrian area. Wow, that's pretty cool, by 20%. So wait till we get people that are 120 years old because they're just living so long because of this pedestrian area. That is pretty cool though. So I'm just gonna keep playing it, but overall very cool policies. Um, you know, obviously the street music, again, I think the street music, this area, the pedestrian areas will be perfect for a stadium. I That is just my personal opinion or downtown area, but the stadium and having those pedestrian roads and the commercial buildings and restaurants, it will definitely be a cool little area for stadium. So let's just keep going with our top 12 things during this live stream. So if you get to the 34, 14 part, you're gonna see a couple different things. These are a couple of the brand new high schools. Now, when I did my first sneak peek review, I thought these were gonna be medium size residential buildings, but no, these are modern high schools. They look fantastic, first and foremost. 
and I think they will look great in a downtown area. Just something very, very, very cool. And I really do love what they did with those high schools. And you know, it just overall looks just amazing. And then if we get to the 40, it's around the 40 marker, we get to, oh, and they just placed it down. I'm gonna hit pause. They have a brand new hospital. That hospital looks amazing. Like I can't wait till your Biffas or your conflict nerd, I can't wait till they actually create a hospital area now like not a district but you with all the different hospitals you can use and this brand new one i think it's gonna look fantastic so again just hit that pause button awesome looking hospital i think this is a great brand new asset and service look you can see that there's an emergency room area you have you know just basically other parts of the hospital that are branching out basically it, it, it's its own small little district Really awesome stuff, City Skylines. Really, really awesome stuff. So now as we get further along into the video, we're about at the 4526 mark. So what they're getting into is the new Metro station. Now they're gonna plop it out and you're gonna see that, all right, they have to get it prepared, but you're gonna see this brand new station that just looks absolutely fantastic. So grab that parallel underground station. Come on, you guys can do it and we do have a couple more different options but overall it is a double station so the parallel station is a parallel underground station and i overall i think it will look cool and obviously since you have parallel stations you're gonna have more room for train underground metro train lines which is very cool and I just think that's an awesome feature for this new DLC. So as we keep moving along in this live stream, they are plopping down a bus station. So this is the brand new bus station they showed off in the preview. Now they're just trying to find a place to put it. And overall, I really like this modern de design. Now, okay, can we please? Okay, let me get a little bit closer. Yeah, live stream, let's get a little bit closer. So. There is your bus station. It looks amazing. There we go. I'm just gonna, I moved forward a little bit, sorry, but what it, what this reminds me of is a Green Cities building. If you guys have ever used those DLC buildings, that's my opinion of it, but it looks fantastic. This bus stop looks amazing, really cool. And obviously it's on the bus only lane or lane road. So overall, a very cool ad. So as we so as we fast forward to around the 56 second mark, this is the commercial area mixed in with residential. So these are all your new assets that are going to come with the DLC. Obviously, they are rendering and they're taking a little bit of time. So let's fast forward and click a little bit. Um, I'm just going to pause it there. A lot of these buildings look ultra modern. So they're very artsy and very modern looking buildings. I think they look really 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 well done we have a lot of black I, I i noticed that is black like is black a part of a modern design i don't know but these still reminisce of the green cities dlc i don't know if that's me let me know in the comment section below like do some of these buildings remind you of the dlc and it just but again they look beautiful i'm not complaining i don't hate them by any means i think they look awesome so here are some of your new assets that you'll be using in the city client lines plaza and promenades dlc they look wow they look very good look at that detailing guys holy cow so we have like two left let's just keep going with our top 12 moments of the live stream so once you get to about the 110 marker you by 110 i mean one hour and 10 minutes you are going over the new plazas that are coming in so basically these plazas are just plazas you can plop down. They're ploppable parks, which we have in City Skylines already. Now, I wanna hit this pause button right here. So, in the preview, I did point out that they did have food trucks, but the problem is, is I don't think they're individual assets. I honestly just think they're part of this plaza. I don't think you can individually plop them, which is unfortunate, but very, very cool plaza assets. I'm very excited to use them. So that's not a negative. I'm just saying if you're on council, you you don't have them as ploppable assets but you have them in the game so that is very cool so these new plazas that came up really awesome stuff and also i just want to point out in this one screen here i believe these are medium-sized pedestrian roads and like i said earlier in this video 
I think that since this is a pedestrian area and there's no cars, instead of having a million cars, obviously there's no cars on these pedestrian roads, you're gonna see a million different people walking around. That's just my theory. I could be wrong, but just something to keep think about and just keep in mind. So one of the very last things I wanted to focus on were the promenades. Now see what she's adding right here. It's very large promenades. A promenade is basically, it has a ceiling over it and you know, it's just basically a shady area. You know, let's just hit the pause button. You know, their, their, their live stream is not as crisp as it was before, but you can see that the promenade needs, it goes over a large pedestrian road, which is really cool. And it looks fantastic. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful asset. And it just, it's gonna add a lot to your cities. Like this is gonna be a focal point of your city. Just something to keep in mind. It looks fantastic. Now, there are other parts of this. I wanna move up my screen a little bit so I can move this forward a tiny bit. But the very last thing I wanted to go into were some of these buildings that, you know, they, they were shown up. So now just to go into one more asset is these food trucks that I, I was talking about near the promenade. Um, this is also an asset that goes over the large pedestrian road, which is very, very cool. I love this idea. And at least you're able, if you're on council, you're able to use the food trucks in kind of like a different way. Even though they're not individual assets, I feel like you can still use them. And they look really great. I think they look cool, honestly, to be honest with you. They look fantastic. And just something just, City Skylines keeps doing amazing things. Now, I'm just gonna fast forward it a little bit. Um, there's more, This see this plaza right in front of you? This was in the preview of the original plaza and promenades, um, you know, in that preview video. This, is, this was in the video itself, so that was really cool. Then I think the last thing I wanted to go into was over here. So they're plopping it down right now, and this building right here is really cool so it's basically kind of like your food truck area but it's kind of like it's a promenade over it and so basically it's a market area it's a small market area that you can have pedestrians walk through in and out and they can go shopping they could do see look at they're going into it it's, it's literally kind of like an indoor farmer's market which i think is fantastic so guys that was my top 12 takes from the city skylines plaza and promenades live stream again they're showing off more assets if you keep watching um but those are my top 12 takes what did you guys think of the, of the live stream are you excited for this new dlc please let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching have a great rest of your day